Unitarian Universalist story time. Settle in. And this one is actually a miracle story. And we UUs tend to not really get into miracle studies. We're more of like the science and facts kind of people. But we allow some. I suppose you could also say that it's not that we're not into miracle stories. It's that we consider everything to be a miracle. But I digress. So this is a story of how the first Universalist church in America came to be. So you have uh, John Murray, who was born in 1741 in England, and he was a passionate Calvinist, um, but he began hearing about universal, uh, universalism, universal salvation. He went to a church that was preaching this and talked to a member there, and, you know, he was planning on telling her the error in her thinking, but instead she gave him some arguments that he couldn't counter. In the end, he wound up converting and becoming a universalist. He was shunned for this, uh, fell into debt. Also at that time, his wife and baby child died, as well as some of his siblings, he was depressed, almost suicidal, and so he decided to go someplace else, in this case, to go to the Americas. This was in 1770. Meanwhile, in New Jersey, you have a farmer by the name of Thomas Potter. He's illiterate, but um, doing his deep soul searching, he just really believes in universal salvation. He builds a church, even though there are no universalists there at the same time, and just has this faith that a universalist minister is going to show up. John Murray's ship was headed for New York. However, it gets stuck in New Jersey. John Murray goes ashore, meets Thomas Potter. Thomas Potter says, oh, good, a universalist uh, minister. I have been waiting a very long time for you. Would you please preach in my church? But John Murray, by this point, is just so bitter and disillusioned. He's like, uh-uh, I don't do that stuff anymore. But Potter begs, and so finally John Murray says, uh, okay, fine. You know, they're trying to get my ship, the ship off the sandbar. If it's still stuck by Sunday, I will come preach in your church. It was still stuck on Sunday. John Murray preaches a rousing universalist sermon, and as rumor has it, right after he finishes that, the winds come up again, and the ship is free. He can go on his way, but now when he goes on his way, he is once again a universalist minister. So that's one story of how universalism started in the United States.